and unfortunately Mrs. Claus couldn't make it. You know, duty calls with Christmas coming up very soon, but on a positive note, her cousin Clara has come today to do something very fun with us. So let me go get her and then we will get started. Okay guys, here she is. This is Clara Claus from the North Pole. Yes. Hi everyone, this is exciting today. Sorry to apologize for the cousin, but you know, Christmas is just a few days away and she's busy as well. So, yeah, Mrs. Claus, <laughs> yeah, Mrs. very busy. Yes, very busy, but um, if uh, she sent me instead, and so Clara is the name and cookies are my game. <laughs> and so at any rate, uh, but today we're going to talk about North Pole cookies. Mm. How to make the best North Pole cookies in the world. So we will get started on that now. We will get started. Today we're gonna to be making sugar cookies. Not any sugar cookies, but North Pole sugar cookies. So uh, this is how we start. Yes, that's right. We go and get Betty Crocker cookie mix. Yes, it's going to be the setting for the best, what? North Pole cookies, that's right. And then, on the directions, right in the back, you have some butter, softened, and an egg at room temperature. Well, not exactly at room temperature, but I'm gonna sit up for a few minutes. And then, of course, you need some utensils. And I got my holiday spatula. So, we're going to get started now. So make sure that you have all of your ingredients. If you're doing this at home with me, make sure you ran to the store and have your Betty Crocker mix, your butter, your one egg. I don't think they sell one egg at the grocery store, but it ain't you just need one. And then, there you go. All right, so now is everybody ready? Are you sure you're ready? Do I hear anybody? Anybody? Okay, we're gonna get started. So we're going to open it up. And you just took it in. That's right. You need a bowl. You don't want to be dumping it on the counter because it's not gonna stir very much. And then take your butter. Sorry. <laughs> that was maybe a little softer. A little softer is good. And a whole stick of butter. Okay. You can do a little less, but you know, it's Christmas time. So, why not this pounds after? <laughs> you know, it's called New Year's resolution. So, after in about, I don't know, 10 days, then you could be resolutioning your pounds that you put on. Anyway, but this will cut down to not having that many to take off. Okay, so now we're going to stir. And it's not really stir, it's actually called kneading. Yes. Not that you need anything for Christmas. <laughs> I'm sorry. At any rate, and so, uh, but you go ahead and you put it all together. And you keep on stirring and kneading and kneading and stirring, stirring and kneading. Oops, don't use your finger. It's best if you don't. Now I think, of course my cousin and I, we differ on this, but I say a peck of germs is good for everybody every day. But she says, wash those hands until, well I'm not gonna say what she says. Anyway, you can ask Mrs. Claus yourself if you wanna know what she says, but I think a peck of germs is good for everybody. However, when you get to a point where your spatula is not spatula. <laughs> I don't know if that really is a word, but anyway, where it's not doing what you want it to do, then you take your spoon, which is going to be the same spoon to put on these cookie sheets. And these cookie sheets, I like small ones, because then you can organize them. Now you get a large one and that's fine too, but you usually don't do just one round. So, now the kind of North Pole cookies that I make are snowball, snowball, yes, snowball cookies. And so you will round them up and put them down here. And they're like little snowballs. Now there are many other kinds of sugar cookies, Christmas cookies that you can do. However, I love that word, however. 
However, I like snowballs. And maybe it's because I'm wishing for snowflakes and snow. See, any other thing about snow? Snowmen, snowflakes, snowballs, snowing, <laughs> snow fever. <laughs> snow fever is but anyway so um anyway so now guess what you know what time it is <gasps> ding ding it's time to start the oven so and so now you have to put the oven on well it's best if you do to warm it up just a smidge before you start your snowball cookies they're gonna be great <laughs> now after you put on the oven which that's where our oven is wherever your oven is then you can start putting your cookies together. Now there's a couple of different ways. You can use a spoon like this, which is called a table spoon. You can use a teaspoon, or you can use a ice cream scooper spoon, but I prefer this too. So you're going to take, oh, and here we are. So you scoop a little bit, about a tablespoon size. Put it in your hand, roll. Now, at the end of the day, here's what happens though. If you feel that they're getting to be a little bit too big, <laughs> then just make them a little smaller. That's what I have to do. So then you go half the size of the, see, isn't that cool? Now we don't leave them this way because sometimes snowballs melt. And so as we melt them or push them down, then we have our secret, I mean, North Pole cookies. Now, if I were the North Pole making these, I have to whisper a lot because, do you know why? Because there's a lot of people around that like my North Pole cookies. And so, with the North Pole cookies, I think this one's a little too big, so we're gonna have that one. Gonna make it a nice round little ball, round little ball, and then we're going to what? Smush them down. And these are magical cookies. So that's why, if I make these, and when I do, at the North Pole, I have to whisper. Because you know why? Because my husband Clarence, he will clear them out. I know Claire and Clarence. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? I think so too. But so we're going to back to the cookies. I'm sorry, back to the cookies now. So you pat them down. So you pat your snowball cookies. And then you will put these in. And you know, as you adjust. Do you see how now I'm just kind of grabbing them? And so as you adjust, you can make them different the next time. And now the best part, well, the second best part, we're going to put these in the oven and it'll be about seven to 10 minutes and you won't want to go very far because burnt cookies are not North Pole cookies. They are not. They are not North Pole cookies if they're burnt. Then they're some other sugar cookie. But we are not gonna worry about that today. So we're going to put this in the oven and oh, it's gonna be amazing. And now it's time to put them in the oven. So if you open it up, you put the wall, <laughs> open it up and put them in, and wait for yum yum.
everyone. Look at yum yum. So now what we do is we wait just a few minutes. Here's what happens. If you wait too long, then they're hard as a rock. And you have our snowball North Pole cooking. But if you wait just a few minutes, how about if we try right now? goodness that is amazing look how nice they come off nice sizes and remember remember always always no two snowballs are the same and they all have their special uniqueness about them and that's why it's really fun to make snowball North Pole Christmas cookies because it reminds us of what? That we're all very special and unique in our very own way. So that's why snowball cookies are a really cool tradition that we have. And everybody remembers how special each one is. Now, this is what happens when you put too many on. And so I would recommend telling them. <laughs> Uh oh, see what happens. But guess what? It's okay. Because they're all going to taste great. Alright, so we're going to move this down just a little bit. Just a little bit. And some of our people don't like frosting. So the ones that don't like frosting, yum, yum. But later on, we'll do an adventure of frosting our wonderful. snowball cookies, North Pole snowball cookies, is to frost them. And so, any kind of white frosting that you prefer, I like the uh, marshmallow. But you can get fluffy, or non-fluffy, or a little fluff, however that works. And so, we're going to uh, keep on going and frost our snowball cookies. So here we go, yum, yum, yum. We put a little white frosting because of why? Snowball. Here and there. Add a little more. 
Well, thank you very much for everyone for joining us. Wait a minute, wait, just a second. We have someone that's going to join us. Where, where's the elf? Oh, thank you for joining us. Uh, well, elf ice cream, what are you doing here? You're here, you, you, you're gonna make the hot cocoa? Oh, aren't you sweet? Well, thank you, ice cream. Yes, he came down all the way from the North Pole, all the way from the North Pole to say, hello. Are you going to say hello? Okay. Hello, everyone. And you're going to make the hot cocoa. Oh, thank you so much. Well, anyway, thank you so much for everyone for joining us. And Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas.